cancer is one of the greatest challenges of modern humankind affecting many people. For example, in Israel, which is a tiny small state of uh, 8 million people, about 30,000 new cases of cancer are discovered annually and 10,000 people are dying annually from the disease. In the United States, the data are the same. The United States has a population of around 300 million people. One and a half million people are discovered yearly as new cancer patients and about 300,000 are dying yearly from the disease. The disease is an awfully complex disease. It has many genetic factors in it, familial factors, but it has also many environmental factors, exposure to the sun, nutrition, and so on and so forth. We now understand much better the underlying mechanisms of the disease, but many sub-diseases of cancer still resist treatment, while in other we have made a huge progress. If people ask me what did we discover, I say we discovered the garbage collection car of the body, which is called the ubiquitin system, that identifies wrong, useless, misfolded, denatured, otherwise mutated proteins, harmful proteins, and remove them selectively from the body, sparing all the healthy components that need to stay behind and continuing functioning, keeping us alive and functional. This is directly related to cancer, because if something is going wrong with the system and aberrant proteins are accumulated, like mutated proteins that cause cancer, then we may suffer, unfortunately, from the disease. As a result, based on our discovery, pharmaceutical companies discovered way to repair these defects. And one of the drugs, bortezomib, now there is a second generation, is being used to fight one type of quite common cancer. It's a blood cancer called multiple myeloma. It's a very common disease. It's one type of leukemia. And the drug has changed completely the landscape of the disease. Now with this drug and with another magic drug, a derivative of thalidomide, they are now living for many, many more years with a high quality of life. So I can say with pride that we impacted the lives of millions and millions of people worldwide, which is a great source of satisfaction. We continue this battle by trying to understand more fundamental mechanisms of cancer, which will lead in the future to the discovery of many more useful drugs that patients will take every day, twice a day, once a week, and they will live with the disease rather than dying from the disease. I am a faculty member of the Technion, which is the Israel Institute of Technology, and it's a very unique institution. We are very rich in departments which make it an interdisciplinary institute. We have departments of engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, side by side by departments of sciences, computer sciences, chemistry, physics, mathematics, side by side by departments of life sciences, biomedical engineering, medicine, and biology. On this wonderful interdisciplinary background, we are going to build the Technion Integrated Cancer Center that will have first and foremost physicians and patients. We are next door neighbor to the biggest hospital in the north part of Israel. It's called the Rambam Hospital with a huge institute of oncology. Next to the hospital, there is the Rappaport Faculty of Medicine and the Rappaport Family Institute for Research in Basic Medical Sciences. And this is an ideal collaboration. And I believe that this institute will impact not only the state of Israel, but also the world at large. We are going to win this battle. It's not going to be one day that we shall wake up and find that the New York Times or, or the Guardian or any other newspaper saying cancer has gone forever. No, it will not be like that. It will be that one disease will be defeated and another disease will be defeated. But from one disease, we are going to learn of the complexity of the other. So from brain, we shall learn about the pancreas, from pancreas about the liver. So there will be lessons learned and the process will be expedited and accelerated. And at the end, I truly hope, I almost feel that we are going to live in a cancer-free world. <laughs>